Hello guys, so today we're going to do maintenance of the DI water. So we're going to remove or substitute the UV lamp. So here we already changed the filter. We got the white one and also the carbon, the black one. So you must change in the regular basis. This is uh, once a month and the black one, the carbon is twice a month. So we're also going to change the simply pack. So it's quite simple. You just remove from here. So later I will show you. So the UV lamp, we must take uh, some precaution. And also we're going to change the D pack. This is uh, once a year. Simply pack also once a year. And for UV lamp, they got the lifetime, maybe a thousand, thousand watt, whatsoever you can read. So first of all, we're going to read the procedure replacing the UV lamp. So we must make sure there is no electrical power before we're going to change. So as you can see, I have power off. So you should wear a glove. Then you see, remove the final filter. So here, detach the Velcro belt. So we going, we already detached the Velcro belt and going to change the filter. It's quite simple, but I will show you how it's done. So as you can see, this is the UV lamp. It's come with a wrap and with a procedure. So you just follow the procedure how to change it. So next, just pull the UV lamp from the housing here. You can just pull it. It's quite simple. So next is we detach it from the wire. You can see the wire here. Just detach the UV lamp. And now we already put the new UV lamp. So make sure be careful where the glove provided when you buy the lamp. So carefully insert the UV lamp inside the box and belt fasten the back. So it's quite simple. So now it's complete. Our UV lamp is complete. So we want to install the Simply Pack because it's already one year. So here, just put it inside. Okay. Can you see that um, hole? Just put it, push it. So now the installation of Simply Pack is ready. So it's quite simple because there is no screw. We just fix into these two holes, one, two. So we already have the UV lamp installed, the Simply Pack. Now we're going to change the DI pack. So this one I will teach you. Okay, you can close the chamber. So we got the chamber here. Just close it. You can see here, just put it through. Okay, now it is ready. So let's change the D pack. So for D pack, it's quite simple. First, you must turn off the water. Then, for D pack here, you can see. You just detach it like this because as you can see they also have two holes here this one that go to this one just detach it and you can see the holder they don't have the screw just a holder okay this is our new d packs that we got from the supplier no we buy actually from the supplier so this is to the date so this is the production date 2019 okay so we're going to install it back so it's quite simple here just put it together like this and close it so here make sure here you can see uh, the key you must put it back this one in the middle so 
put it back in the middle. So it's become like this. If not fit, means that something is not right. So make sure the key is fit. Then just close it. Okay, so the D-pack is ready. So lastly, first I will recap what we did. <laughs> we already changed the filter. This is for once a month. The carbon one is twice a month. You must change it. So they also provided with a tool you can use. So remember, so you can um, sustain your DI water longer if you change this one. For the D pack, it's once a year. So now it's 28th February. So you got 28th February 2021 to change it. So inside we have simply pack and UV lamp. You also must change. So now we're going to check whether it's okay or not. So just open the power supply. So after the open, you can see. Wait for the machine to calibrate. So we must wait. Okay. After it's ready, you can try. You can see uh, in the D-pack here, in the D-pack, there is no indicator. The indicator is not on. It's good. The UV lamp is going okay. If the UV lamp is static, means that it's already finished. You must change. So here, I'm going to calibrate. I think that's all. So it's quite simple. You all also can change it yourself. Thank you very much. Okay, after the calibration, you can see now it's eighteen point two milliohm per milliohm centimeter square. So you can see the value change. So we calibrate. You must flush the water to get eighteen point two. So we wait until the value change to. 18.2 so it's rising slowly 16.6 18.2 so you can use so now the di water is complete